healing the brain with neuromodulation. Technology employing devices involving electricity are helping reshape the way doctors treat certain disorders once held in check by a variety of prescription medicines. As researchers are beginning to better understand the electrical underpinning of the body and the way its circuitry links together the brain, organs, glands, and cells, they are paving the way to a new range of non-drug, minimally invasive treatments from pulses of electricity that bestow beneficial effects that can last for days to months to years. The human body is electrical, and the trillions of cells within communicate with each other, which is why neuromodulation of the brain and other body parts has caught the attention of researchers at some of the world's leading medical institutions. Scientists are now looking at a variety of ways using electroceuticals, a category of low-powered electrical devices that can either be placed on the skin or else implanted just below it to treat disorders ranging from depression and chronic pain to Parkinson's disease and post-stroke paralysis, all without the use of drugs. German researchers recently reported that low-current transcranial direct current stimulation, or TDC, TDCS, a, a non-invasive, inexpensive, user-friendly technology with no known side effects could positively impact brain function. Some small studies report that this therapy can relieve chronic pain and the symptoms of depression, Parkinson's, and schizophrenia, while others claim that it can improve working memory, learning, vigilance, and intelligence. Taking neuromodulation one step further, researchers are now actively involved in creating minimally invasive implantable electroceuticals. Instead of targeting cells with drugs, these novel miniature implantable devices send electrical impulses to major nerves to alert commands that an organ receives, thereby controlling its function. Deep brain stimulation will also be a key player. While almost any circuit in the brain can be modulated to alter, restore, enhance function, understanding the anatomy and physiology of these circuits and the best electrical mechanism by which to modulate them is the challenge that lies ahead and where healing the brain with neuromodulation is definitely headed. So for this exciting area, we're fortunate to have a pioneer uh, with us, Dr. Reese Cosgrove. And Reese, can you tell us why it is that despite it being the case for hundreds of years that people have wanted to use electricity for healing in one way or another, that now it's getting traction and you're able to start to see clinical advances and that are being brought to patients? Well, the reason is, <clears throat> is because it works. And uh, the proof of that is that there's probably close to 150,000 people with these so-called brain pacemakers walking around the world today. So it's FDA approved for Parkinson's disease, dystonia, and tremor. And there's a lot of investigational work in the field of neuropsychiatry and depression, OCD, Tourette's, addiction, uh, PTSD, anorexia. These are all conditions that we look at as circuit disorders. And the beauty of a technology that can go in, if you understand the anatomy and physiology of that circuit and where it's located, that you can modulate it and just modulate that circuit and not anything else. So I think the challenge ahead of us is not just by doing it with an implantable electrode, but can we do this non-invasively or different kinds of electrodes that we don't have to actually place into the brain but still get the same benefits? So do you see a time in the future when patients might have take-home devices or nano devices that could be used to be able to modulate in a less invasive fashion, in a more widespread fashion? Well, certainly if we had some sort of non-invasive device that could make us more attentive, more alert, maybe improve our sleep, more kinder, gentler, I know my wife would like that <laughs> if I could put one on at night and restore myself. So. Um, yeah, I think that, uh, but I mean, seriously, if we have non-risky, non-invasive technologies that could actually improve some of the conditions that we know are so hard to treat without medications, that would be a, a, a great holy grail to, to achieve. Thank you.